first, let's have a look at the recap at the playoff tree. Now, top two teams, Deccan Gladiators and Delhi Bulls, they play qualifier one. Well, yeah, just the one change, and that's Romario Shepard coming in for Luke Wright. So, not a great deal of surprise at this stage of the tournament. You pick your best team, you pick your players who you think you're going to win. We are in the same hotel as the Warriors in the Bulls. Now, this is the Gladiators locking horns with the Delhi Bulls. TKC. Fresh on Hi, Danny. And it's Freira's opening. Adil Rashid with the first ball. That's it. Ingenuity. And brave to have a man under the lid, given that Superman's on strike. And after all, Baz, it's T10. It'll be a wide, I think, is it? Has it just come off a pad or something? Let's have a look from Alim Dar, is it? Yep. Shiraz got a little limp on there. Signal. Here in Abu Dhabi. Full toss, always going to get the treatment with Dre Russ inside. A power play. Well bold. And here it goes for four, but it was trying to get it up in the hole for a Yorker. Could have been a worse result. But he doesn't need it. Russell fats this straight back over his head for six. You just can't float it up towards him. It's that front of the handball just getting on and Russell. He's already down on one knee and thrashing this over the top. Guess what? He can't. And there is the six. Smoked. Dry Russell. 21 off. It's 47 without loss now. Oh, got the golf swing out, baby. 50 up already. And we've just started. Just started the fourth. Talk about Aurelio moments. You can now own your favourite cricket moments courtesy Aurelio.com. Abu Dhabi T10's official NFT partner. And just take a look at this. Oh, please. Big game, man. Guess what? The big player has arrived. Lovely touch. Whistles away for one bounce. Pace on. Oh, it's going to sit, is it? Oh, it's out! Thought he might have got away with it, and the skipper, DJ Bravo, holds on to it. So Russell can't get to a second half century. He's been cut off at 39. Yeah, Bulls can breathe again. Short ball, he tries to muscle this down the ground for once. Not enough power, not enough timing. Good catch from Bravo. And it's a great comeback. From Drake's Russell while he threatened 39 or 14 is 58 for one. Thrashing edge. He's got away with this one as Najibullah. And Shirazi, who's not the quickest going around, it'd have to be said. He might get a glare from the captain. In fact, he's got the teapot out. DJ Bravo. Swatted up into the air. Fielder settles and spills it. It's Dwayne Bravo, the champion. He's still gotten a wicket via the run-out route, but uh, many would have expected Bravo to take this catch. Yeah, would you believe it? An absolute sitter dropped by the captain of Delhi Bulls. Let's have a look at this. Plum collar Cadmore doesn't quite get all of it. Straight down Bravo's throat, who shells it, and now watch this. Watch this for a throw. Thank you very much. On your bike, Najib. I might have dropped a sitter, but I can <laughs> throw the stumps down from uh, about 60 yards. As uh, Najib departs for four, Deccan Gladiator, 74 for two. David Visa. New batsman, now another chance to get rid of TKC. And they hold on to it, Chandapal Himraj. Smiles all around, Dominic Drakes. Should have gotten a wicket to his name in the previous ball. But he finally gets it. Back-to-back -back wickets for the Bulls. We had a run out and now the dangerous Tom Collar Cadmore is up. Uh, Back in the pavilion because 
of this very smart catch by Chanderpaul Hemraj as uh, Dominic Drakes just lets his uh, teammates know uh, that the plan has just come off as uh, Cadmore departs for 23, Deccan Gladiator 74 for 3. And he's a confident young man. Again, just carrying it wide, a little more pace, and it's another wicket for Dominic Drakes. Wicket number three, a total of 14 now in the tournament. Surely a dream 11 game changer in this qualifier one. 27 for four. Well, there it is, Drakes picking up his third. And uh, very jubilant. Eddie Bull's balcony as Andrew Ali departs for one. Deccan Gladiators, 77 for four. Clipped away. Two straight. Allows for a low wrist shot. And he pays the price for it, just as you were saying, always. Yeah, again, the line is just not right. You can't bowl leg side line to a player of David Weiss's class. He is too strong in that area. Look at the shot efficiency, 92%. And he finds the gap. Odin Smith. He has a lot to do for that with that stat. Odin Smith creams it wide of long off. Starts with a six. That's a grandfather six. It goes all the way. Wow. What a shot that is. That gets eggs on it. He absolutely smoked it. And look at the shot efficiency. No wonder it's gone out of the ground. And now... Uh, I've heard there's a tournament record of the 425th, sorry, 426th, six. Up and over. Didn't have to finish the swing. And she flies all the way into the fence. And we're talking about power. I was surprised Odin Smith wasn't in that list. Watch how he hits that ball. I reckon he just checked that. Half a swing. Thank you very much. And again. Another six. 21 already off the over. Well, playing true to form, the Gladiators. Well, that looks like like a tennis shot a flat bat straight over your head thank you very much As my uh, fellow commentator is saying it's called a strapple it's a straight pull for those of you thinking what the hell a strapple is very well uh, appreciated by andre russell as well waited for it and guess what same result 27 from the over. It's a monster. 126 for four. Last over. That's a short beauty. Wow. More elegance and power, but same result. Six runs. Well, anything Smith can do, so can we, sir. That's in the slot. Thank you very much. 94% short efficiency. No wonder that's settled. With the offside once again. Add four. 
have a look at the batting. Great start by Russell and Cadmore, but then since Russell's departure... Thank you, Aaron. Uh, great to see a young left-arm seamer doing well. Well, the Bulls, they've got their work cut out. Their target score, 140. Yeah, what a start to qualify one. The bat, the bowlers, just great. Trying to pull him, Raj, his partner. Is on that target. They need to get 140. There we go. That's what we've been expecting quite early. And he delivers. Good bars. Yeah, the calm before the storm, the first two balls. This is classic Gerbaz, as we've come to know through this tournament. Gives himself a bit of room. Glorious strike. A long, long way. Really like this from Gurbaz. Uh, just hasn't gone wild and reckless in his approach. He's taken a couple deliveries to get accustomed to the pace. As this one goes away for four. Don't be surprised if one or two captains now go, hang on a minute. Maybe runs on the board is the way forward now. Catch it, catch it. To leg again. Two straight. That's a free swing for the batsman. Gone for the big shot, and it flies all the way. That's a dream 11, game-changing over Shawley. 23 runs coming from it. A very, very good end to the over. 32 without loss. Miscued, is it? Straight to Andrew Russell, he gobbles it. First wicket for the Gladiators. Exceptional over this, Modine Smith. It's four runs from the first three balls, then the knuckleball. Emraj tries to adjust, gets it low on the bat. And that's as cool a catch as you'll ever see. Joy! Gladiators camp. Delhi Bulls lose their first. Emrah's gone for 24. 36 for one. Not so far after this one, though. It's going to be a maximum. Not the shorter square boundary, so that's good thinking, good approach by Gurbaz. Even if he mishits it, it will fly for six. Play smart. This format still requires you to keep your thinking caps on. I like how low he keeps his head towards the ground. Oh! <laughs> but from that one, when his head was high up in the sky, but you know what? He may have got four for this. Good teamwork maybe on the boundary. We'll have to check it. Jeeb, I think it was diving at the last minute. He's done a fantastic job in saving a few runs. Through the offside, finds the gap, gets four. Up and over, and finds the gap. All it took was a little swivel because of the length. For her to interview Sean Tate, and now we'll see a boundary. What a Brilliant shot that is from Shafin Rutherford. Or again. Would have known that Odin Smith might have gone short, but ends with a four. Five gone, 65 for one. Oh! White! White! Gonski! TKC, and guess who with the finger point? The Hessmeister. That is a huge wicket, Gerbaz. The man you would think would be there to win the game for the Delhi Bulls. But Hasaranga, the real Dream 11 game changer, takes the wicket. Tom Cole and Cadmore down at long on. One gun to another. I thought he got hold of that, but no, bottom of the bat. Plucked out of the air. Bulls lose their second. Gabaz gone for 19, the 
ball, 65 for two. More than happy to host, Chip. Oh, Owen Morgan, first ball, down the track, straight six. Welcome to the crease, Captain Morgan. 100%. Irish flavour, and the flags are waving and flying for those in orange. Just a little bit more flight, and the dancing shoes on from Owen Morgan. Just a little punch. Oh, the flow. Good Baz applauds Owen Morgan, not captain of this team, of course. I'll always be Captain Morgan to me. That going to be? Oh, this one's gone a long way. Owen Morgan's in the mood tonight. It's his second six already. This one flies over deep square leg. Hashtag love a lefty as ever. But two of the many of the balls, Rutherford and Morgan, and both so strong in the zone. Morgan now 15 from five, and Shafane Rutherford has struck four fours. He's 19 from a dozen. Set beautifully now. Make that 4-3-7. This one's going all the way as well. Owen Morgan taking no prisoners out there. Captain, captain, captain. Must have an old TV ad in New Zealand. Or Morgan furniture head. Oh, clean. Sweet, simple. Just clear that front hip a little. And away she goes. Oh, and this is another one down the ground. It's going to be another maximum. Three on the bounce, Owen Morgan on fire. And don't they know it here at Zyde, they're on their feet, applauding the Irishman who captains England. Yeah, it's a bit slottage again, and he knew it. As soon as he bowled it, you watch the body language of Andre Russell. The head goes down, he's fallen apart because he knows he's just served it up like a bowling machine. This one's over the offside, there's a man down there, it's gone straight to him. Throws his head back in dismay, Owen Morgan. Chased a wide one, may have even been given a wide. Oh, Dean Smith is on the offside boundary, went straight to him, he didn't move a muscle. Three sixes on the trot, and then the wide Yorker, that's a low full toss. On the biggest side of the ground, he finds his man, Odin Smith. Knows a bit of fortune there, Dre Russ. It's the end of Morgan. Lovely little cameo, 27 from eight. No! Oh, he's bowled him. So Timar Mills into the attack. A little look at the batsman, a little smile. He knows he's got his man. Shafane Rutherford, who looks to be Delhi Ball's remaining hope, has got to go. Well, the West Indian connection out there, lovely change of pace. Yeah, it's off the back lead and all. He's been done by the sucker leg cutter. Brilliant from Mills. We thought for a moment Rutherford and Romero Shepard could do the business here for the Bulls, but now the pressure goes back on the batting side, chasing the target. Nice little innings, but it's nipped in the bud. 21, he's now 95 for four. This one's through the offside, this is four, and a good one from Bravo. Straight out of the annuals of Bravo coaching. Uh. Now, but he's gone, hits it straight to extra cover. Tom Cole Cadmore takes the catch. Just wonder there, in terms of trying to thread this there, because you can understand where Russell's trying to go Yorker and he's got it sweet and he's picked out TKC what's oh, flipped off there hasn't lost a tooth I hope no it's just little finger protectors fallen off or his dentures have fallen out one of the two but either way he's taken the catch DJ Bravo's got to go he's on the way back he made nine the balls 106 for five from nine than six, it's going to go for four, so the game is still alive, the next five could go for six, it's a pretty tall order, but not impossible, so, and this ball 
as ever, just after the drop catch, goes for six. Now, there's still a very slim chance that the Bulls can do this. It'd take a no ball or a wide. Went to the boundary. Back of the handball went over the line for six. Spitting tax to Mar Mills, given that the catch had just been put down. And it is the shorter side of Zaya tonight. And this one's going to go behind square. Well fielded on the boundary, that's more like it. And we're early this time, he's had a very good day in the field. Going to help your bowlers out, this is top work. I'm just showing Nudgy Buller how to do it. And of course, Anwar Ali is uh, a lot older than Nudgy Buller. The old boys to the fore. Oils galore. So, there's the game. Well done, Deccan Gladiators. They progress through to the Abu Dhabi T10 Season 5 final. The first team to put their little name on the scorecard in Biro. Win this game by 17 runs. Delhi Bulls, a lot of that chase looked good. Looked like they were on track. The wickets fell at the wrong time for them. And in the end, they fall quite a way short. And there they go, the fireworks go off. The Deccan Gladiators have won. Qualifier one by 17 runs. So the Bulls, there we go, Gabaz 19. Hemraj, you played well for his 24th, Rutherford 21, a brilliant 27th of 8.